Alright, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Days from Fear No Evil. Coming at y'all with a um with a tutorial on how to mix with Pro Tools 8. Uh if you're using Adobe Audition 3.0, then uh Zare got the tutorial for that. Just look in the uh videos and um just just look till you find it. As you can see at the top, Pro Tools L E. I'm sorry for the, the quality of the camera, but uh it's the only camera I could find at the moment. But I mean, I'm still going to give you the basics, break it down to you, and tell you how you mix with it. And that's my inbox right there. The microphone right there. And the booth. I Oh yeah, and um, if you if you please with the results or whatever, then just subscribe to Fear No Evil TV. And uh, if you want to like really be able to hear the quality, if you can't really hear it through the video, oh my bad. Just... Uh, Scroll through, like I said, look at the videos. We got some songs up. Just look at the videos. You want to collab, hit us up for that too. Now I'm saying we do it all. Alright. I'm just going to play you what I got. I recorded some raw vocals right there. Let me unarm Just now, I got my instrumental right there. My vocals. And the master track. You got to have the master track so everything comes together. Alright. Got to have the master track. So. It's about to play the raw vocals for y'all, so I'm gonna arm, well not arm, excuse me, I'm gonna solo the the vocal right quick and just play it for you, let you hear how it sound. Weevil. It's a YouTube tutorial on how to mix with Pro Tools 8. I mean it might sound kind of good right now, out. but um, there's I'm not one effect, I have put not one effect on it yet, you can see racked the up, racks are clear, racked not racked one up, effect yet. Racked up and racked out. Look, F and E in the building. So I'm going to stop that. Now the first one that you use. And first off, before I tell you, if you don't have the Mercury bundle, then um, it it it'll be pointless for you to watch this tutorial. The Mercury bundle is a bundle that you get with Pro Tools. What well, you don't get it with Pro Tools, but you know what I'm saying you can, you use it in Pro Tools. What I meant to say, um. It's this ten thousand dollars for the plugins, and I know like a lot of people not gonna pay ten thousand dollars for plugins, but I mean, you can do what a lot of people in the world are doing, which is, <clears throat> you know what to do, uh, uTorrent, and um, I'm not saying anything else, but yeah, you can do it like that. But um, the first thing you want to do to your uh, vocals. Well, basically, I mean, I don't know like uh, what other artists do, but in the Fear No Evil Studios, I can tell you what we do on Pro Tools, and I mean that's what I'm gonna tell you. And I mean, I might be telling you something right, or I might be telling you something wrong, but I'm just telling you what I do. Now I'm saying, and I accept criticism if I am doing something wrong, but I mean, I've been getting positive feedback for the quality, and uh, I mean, I'm gonna continue to use it this way. You know what I'm saying until I feel, until I know that something's better, this is how I'm gonna use it. Alright, see if I can try to stay in my time minimum, or maximum, excuse me. Alright, so, the first thing you want to do, master track, instrumental, verse, or vocals. You want to highlight, well, you just want to, well, I'm using a Mac, um, Windows, you want to press on the, uh, the vocal, so it'll show white. See how the other ones show, like, gray in the inside, but this one's showing white. And then you go up the track. It's right here. Sorry that you can't see it. You go to new. The very first one. And then it's going to ask you. New tracks. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cancel that. I'm sorry. You go to track. You go to duplicate. I'm sorry. Duplicate. It's the third one. Duplicate. And uh, it says number of duplicates. It should already have one highlighted. You just hit backspace. Like that. And then hit two. And just hit enter. Everything's already checked off. Just hit enter. And as you can see that it added it two more times at the bottom. Alright. So then what we're going to do. Is start uh, mixing. So you double click on the first one you put. You're going to see audio 1. Audio 1 dub. Du I mean duplicate 1 and audio 1 duplicate 2. Sorry you can't read that. I'm so sorry. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call out the name of the plugin. So you'll be able to know. It. And you'll be able to see the pictures for the plugins too. So that works too. But um, after that, 
what you can do is just play it while you're mixing it that's what I like to do but I'm just going to show you what to use alright you go to mix well I could play it I'm, I'm, I'm going to play it alright highlight it double click space bar yeah it's going to play everything you highlighted Days. I turned the instrumental down so you can hear the vocals though. you can no hear the evil. changes so you can hear the changes in the vocals it's a YouTube tutorial how to mix with Pro Tools 8 all right. See, I'm racked First up thing you want to do, come out. here to the mix menu. I'm racked up All right. and racked out. The first channel at the bottom racked up, racked should be out. Racked your master. And, racked out. Racked and then your and instrumental. Out. And then your three, Look. Your three uh, vocals. All right. The, the first one, the first vocal, like you can see the arrow. The first the vocal, field. you do not yeah. touch. Not right now. You don't mess with it. All right. The second and third ones. You gonna pan the first one 45 to the left. I'm sliding it 45 to the left. You can see the knob if you can see it is to the left. And the second one 45 to the right. Now what that does is give your your vocals the full effect. It gives them the full effect, all right. And then what you're going to do is lower both of those down, negative 20. A negative 20.5 to be exact. And you can hear the vocal change, the volume change. Negative 20.5 again. Right there. All right. Fear no evil. And remember, 45 to the left, 45 to the right on one. If you uh, can't really see this and need me to explain it more, just message me or message us and I'll explain it to you. All right. As you do that, you can hear. I'm going to mute the instrumental. The instrumental is muted. That's what just the, the vocals playing. F and E in the building for real they in the building. It just gives a, a, a more full effect, alright? So now we're gonna do start off mixing your vocals. The first effect you're gonna use you press A for the plug in. You can see where it says dynamics. You go to dynamics. And then if you have your if you have your Mercury package installed, you're gonna see C4 mono. Alright, that's just right here, C4 mono. You're going to press C4 mono. And then this is going to come up, alright? Now what this is, this is an EQ and a compressor at the same time. Alright? Now what you're going to do with this, they have a side, the side for the uh, output and the input. You can, you can toggle that if you want. I always toggle it. I put it up like 10.0 maybe, but make sure it doesn't go in the red. Try to keep it in the green, if if not the yellow, but never the red. The red means clipping. You do not want your vocals to clip. You only, well let me, let me back up a little bit. The red one is the lows. The middle one or the green one is the mids, and the other two are the highs. <clears throat> okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. The only thing you want to mess with is the mid. Never touch the lows. Never touch the highs. And this is actually studio um, studio tips because uh, I have family that works in studios, and actually I got some of my connects from some of them. And uh, this is actual studio to uh, studio tips. All right. So you just want to toggle the, the middle. That's it. Bring it down a little. And what that does is that makes like your S's, your P's, your F's, your C's, K's, your H's. It just brings out the uh, the sound of your letters and it makes it clearer. The more you slide that down, the clearer your vocals get. Just bring them down. As you can probably hear, I'm a solo it. I'm a solo it so you can hear the difference. I'm a solo that for you. Solo. When she let, there's something you can't do about it. You hit a big difference. I'm going to slide it up, back up. Club can't do without it. We make it rain without a champagne shower. So you can hit a difference in that right there. No evil shut it down without a power outage. You heard that, P? You can hit a difference. All right? That's what that does. That's what that does. Yeah. All right? Ace. The next thing you're going to do 
would be the R channel. The R channel mono. So you do the same thing, plug in, dynamics. But this time you're going to go all the way down. You're going to see R channel mono. I'm sorry you can't really see it on mine, but I'm telling you what it's called. It's R channel mono. That's not it. But we will be using that, but that's not it. Alright. I'm so sorry for this, people. I'll take pictures on my cell phone. I have a real good cell phone and, and upload and send them to you if you need so I can, you can see exactly what the plugin is going to be. But this is our channel mono right here. This is what it is. See the pictures? You can see the pictures real good. Just try to find a picture that looks like that. It's a preset that I use. Right? You can go to the preset and you're going to go to close warm vocals. I'm so sorry. Close warm vocals, right? And that's what it's going to look like. Don't touch nothing. And if it sounds like it's too much EQ, you open back up your C4 and you move the mid only up. Alright, like that. Now you can hear the big difference already, and we ain't even added all of the plugins yet. The next one will be the reverb. But I mean reverb, you can find a reverb by yourself. I mean everybody has a different yeah. reverb. My reverb yeah. is actually the, called the R-verb, which is also in the package. So you go, instead of going to dynamics this time, you go to reverb. It's the fourth one. It's EQ, one, two, three, four. Reverb. And then you go to R-verb, mono, slash stereo. That's what it's going to do. All right. Now the reverb I use, I have a preset, days R-verb. You just change the first one, which is the early reflexes, to negative 8.4, the reverb to negative 11.4, the wet slash dry to 3, and the gain 0. Your diffusion, right here, it's going to be 0, 0.0. Your size, that varies on how much reverb you want. But I have right now set it to 88.9. The time, 7.54, and the pre-delay, 3.2. That's it. I'm kind of rushing through it so I can still be in that time frame, but that's it. Don't touch that. Alright. Then um, after your reverb, you have your max volume. Go back to this time you're gonna go, it's gonna actually multi or mono because of the reverb was actually multi or stereo. It's gonna ask you which one do you want two or one? Basically, mono one, multi, more than one. You're gonna, it's gonna go to multi. You go to go to dynamics. And this time you're going to scroll down to max volume mono. All right. This is going to come up. What you've seen earlier. I have a preset for this. But the preset I have, I tell you no lie, is the preset entitled set and forgive. Set and forgive. That's the preset. Set and forgive. All right. You just exit that out. Then after max volume, you have... Just a basic deesser, stereo deesser. So this time you're gonna go to multi-channel plugin, dynamics, and you're gonna go to deesser stereo. Now you're gonna see this. You just go to load and male s. If you mix in the females vocals, then you would go to female s. All right, male s. And then the last one for the vocals would be the C1. Compressor slash gate, which will be mono. So the second one, dynamics, C1 comp slash gate, mono. It's going to come up. You're going to load up the preset entitled speech compressor. It's entitled speech compressor. And that's the one you want, the one entitled speech compressor. All right. And I'm running out of time on this video, so just holler at me on the next video, part two, and I'm going to show you how to master a song. Well, I'm going to show you how to mix the rest of it, mix the, inst well, mix the instrumental and then what you do to the master track because I'm running out on the vocals. But that's what you do for the vocals. But you never touch the, the vocals that you pan to the left and the right. You never touch them. Do not touch them. You add no effects to them. Not a single effect. Never. You just add effects to your main. No matter how many vocals you have, never add effects to the pans. Never. All right. That's a day's tutorial coming straight from FNE. Holla at me.